Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So very important in this episode, we're gonna have a recap where we are at the CMEs and where we are going to head next, especially once we're gonna open up again the traditional markets. Let's see what my indicators are telling. So watch the video till the end. And before we start, a big reminder, if you're interested in watching my own indicator 24 7 this is how it looks like where you can see the bitcoin price above and the dxy compared here on the lower end then make sure to contact me over on discord you find the discord link down below here in the video description to get access to my own indicator you find all the details down below here in the video description of this youtube video and something very important as well for all the members and all the newcomers that are signing up to Bybit with my link that you find down below here, not only you will get from Monday on $90 in bonus as usual, but also you will profit from 20% of the fees starting from this Monday through all the month of September. So if you already signed up in the past with my Bybit link, you also will profit from this special promotion that Bybit is giving to our community. And for all the newcomers that are signing up with my link that you find down below here to Bybit, you will also profit from this 20% of the fees. So if you don't have an account yet on Bybit, make sure to sign up over there. It's completely for free. You will get some bonus as well and you only need the email address. So you don't have to do KYC, nothing here to trade Bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage. This is where you can do the biggest gains also with a small amount of money. And this is also the main exchange where I always trade i also have an account over on femex ptr when i trade with us dollar tether but when i'm trading with cryptos usually i use bybit or femex and bybit is the biggest exchange in my opinion also it is very community friendly so it always have nice events and always big nice promotions that they always do like every couple of weeks or so and currently you can profit from 20 percent of the fees so now let's start here with our Bitcoin TA and let's start here first with the CME chart because remember first we have the CME gap down to $9,600 which potentially will get filled within this week maybe even tomorrow let's see and the second thing is that we closed on Friday here at $10,600 the CME market so if we're going to start this uh, uh, week in this price level where we are right now here in the spot market so here at around ten thousand two hundred to ten thousand dollar then most likely we're gonna have a new future gap above of us so at the end we're gonna end up to have this one down here at nine thousand six hundred dollar and a small one above of us and that's why i think it is a very good idea right now to scale in long positions the more we are dropping during this weekend so if you see the price currently coming down potentially even towards 10k again then take it as a buy and long opportunity because most likely we're going to fill this gap here at ten thousand six hundred dollar and maybe even first coming down to fill the cme gap at nine thousand six hundred dollar so this is what we have to see once we're gonna pump again if first we're going down to fill the gap at 9600 or first we're coming up to test this 10600 dollar maybe even 11k close the cme gap above of us that we created this weekend and then continue the dump to close also 9600 dollar but all in all i think it is a very good idea to start scaling in longs so right now down to uh, this cme gap especially if we're dropping during today lower than ten thousand dollars so currently we are holding this 10k but we already seen some weeks to the downside during this weekend so let's go over now to the spot market and open up the one hour time frame because here you can see that currently we're trading along the 20 moving average it is possible that we're gonna have another week to the downside i still think 10k retest is possible within the next couple of hours because here the one hour is looking like that is getting rejected from the 50 level in the rsi i had here some buy signals especially on friday before we entered the weekend because my indicator is only working from monday to friday when also the dxy is trading 
And here the DXY looked like that we could top out here and see another dump to the downside coming up unless we are breaking here this $93 resistance. This is what we're gonna have to see this coming week. But here on the Bitcoin price, it looks like that we're gearing up for a possible bounce to the upside even before we are closing the CME gap at $9,600. So it is very likely that we're gonna see maybe a short-lived bounce to the upside during this week. So if you want to take this long opportunity, I think this 10K area would be a perfect entry and you can even scale in your trade down to the CME gap at 9,600, maybe even down to $9,000. Because if you're entering trades right now with 5X or 10X leverage, you will have a liquidation price at around 9K. So you can easily scale in your trades without getting liquidated. And uh, if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the one hour, you can see that currently we're trading on the upper area, but currently we are testing here the middle line of 10,150. So there is a still a high chance that maybe we break down to retest the bottom here at 9,990, so around 10K, because also we have uh, currently the stochastic, which is looking toppy. So here we could see a possible cool off first. The MACD is shifted to the upside, which is a good sign. But as I told you, there is also a high risk that we coming down again to test 10k again before we're gearing up for a possible uh, bounce to the upside and if we go over to the four hour here you can see that we are still getting a buy signals here in my own indicator we have the rsi still in oversold condition and all the moving averages are above of us so between 10,500 to 11,500 dollar and i think if we're gonna see a bounce watch out for these moving averages here in the four hour time frame. So between 10,500 to 11,500, because there we could face some heavy resistance and there we could top out potentially and continue the dump, especially if we are not filling up the CME gap at $9,600. And now we're gonna have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the four hour, because here you can see that currently we didn't manage to retrace here above the Bollinger Band. So we're still struggling here in the first moving average here at uh, 10,220. The stochastic is also looking a bit toppy here. We could see a bearish cross and then come back down again, potentially to the bottom towards $9,800. So if you see the price dropping towards here, the bottom of $9,800, or so the bottom here of the Bollinger Band in the four hour, then take it as a long opportunity because most likely on Monday, we are coming to retrace back up again and even if we go lower to fill the CME gap at $9,600, you can scale in your long position and you should be doing fine for the next couple of days. Because also here the MACD had a bullish cross here. Let's see if this is gonna play out here. We have a lot of room left to the upside. So possible bounce to the upside, even a short lift one is very likely to come here pretty soon. So every dip that you see during the weekend, Take it as a long opportunity and scale in your longs and buy orders. But as I told you, probably we will see 9K coming up in the next couple of weeks, maybe even days. But a short-lived bounce is very likely. And if you want to take this trade, especially here on Bybit with leverage, then make sure to take this trade. And now we can have a look into the daily time frame because here you see that currently the 20 daily moving average is coming below the 50, which is a bearish sign. But even though this is looking a bit bearish here in the daily, also because uh, we are trading now below the 20 and 50 daily moving average, I think the worst case scenario is here that we are coming down to fill the gap at $9,600, retest the new support here, which previously was a big resistance line, this red line here at $9,500, maybe even have a week down to the 200 daily moving average at $9,000 and then bounce heavily from it. You also see the RSI very oversold currently. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can also see that currently we're trading at the bottom. So there is a still a high chance that we could see a big bounce to the upside to retest here the two moving averages, which are between 11,000 to $11,500. Stochastic here had a bullish cross after being oversold. MACD is coming also down here, but still far away from a bullish cross. So here the MACD still shifted to the downside since we had here a bearish cross when we topped out here at around 12 
MACD. So the MACD in the daily time frame is a very powerful indicator and currently still shifted to the downside. So we should expect here some continuation to the downside, even though a short lift bounce is still very likely. So I wouldn't necessarily short it. I'm more looking for longs. Trading longs is always easier than shorting because if the price continue to pump, it is very hard to keep alive your trade when you're in a short position. And now we can open up the weekly because we're going to close this weekly candle today. And as long as we're closing above the 20 weekly moving average, so above 10K, everything is good for the long term. So even if today we're closing above 10K and tomorrow we're dropping uh, to 9K or 8K, let's say 8K, then we still would remain bullish and you should take it as a buy opportunity because the weekly close is gonna be relevant. So it doesn't matter if next week or the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have some weeks to the downside. As long as we're closing weekly candles above the 20 weekly, we have nothing to worry about and we're still on the way to the upside. Only if we would start to close weekly candle below 10K right now, so today or the next week, then we should maybe consider to have uh, lower bearish targets. So not only at 9K, but potentially even towards here the 200 weekly here at $6,600. I don't think we will go down to these levels again, but it is also possible and it is in the cards that if we're starting to close weekly candles below 10K, that we could even reach this bearish target down here because the 20 weekly moving average has been always the bottom area for Bitcoin when we had huge crashes to the downside. And my own indicator is giving right now sell signals here in the weekly. So last time we got here sell signals, we had a big crash, but of course we can also repeat something like we had in 2016, 17, when we just stayed here in this overbought condition all the time till we topped out. So as long here in the weekly time frame, we are always closing the candles above important supports. I will remain bullish and I still think we have a lot of room left to the upside, especially after we cooled off here the RSI, which is touching right now the 50 level. So even if we have a week below the 20 weekly, everything is okay. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, also here you can see that we perfectly reached my target here between the two moving averages. So even if we wick below here, as long as we're closing weekly candles above the middle line, so above 9,770 here in the Bollinger Band, we're good to go to the upside. We have stochastic, which is cooling off here. We are still in neutral condition, so we are not right now in oversold. And uh, MACD is also looking like that here we could see a potential bearish cross if we continue to stay in this price range here at around 10K. And if we're not seeing a big bounce to the upside coming up in the next couple of weeks, here we could see a potential bearish cross, which could indicate that we will see some more continuation to the downside and maybe we will not going to bottom out at 10 or 9 K so that maybe we go even down to $6,600 or $7,000, anything like that. If here we're going to have a bearish cross and we are starting to close weekly candles below these important supports at around nine to 10 K. So this is what we're going to have to keep an eye on. And of course, also what the DXY is doing currently, the market is still closed. We have to wait till Monday till everything is starting again. So that's why currently I am not in a trade, but most likely going to open up already long positions on Bitcoin, especially if we're going to see 10 K again during this weekend. I don't like that much to open up trades during the weekends, but I think it's very obvious that uh, right now, the lower we go during the weekend, the better your entry will be because most likely we're gonna see a short lift bounce coming up in the next coming hours or maybe days. So let's see and of course also subscribe here to the channel, subscribe also to my other channels on Twitch, Discord, it's everything for free because then you will get completely up to date and also we have a great community over there, especially on Discord. So make sure also to subscribe here over on Discord. And if you're interested in my 24 seven live stream, where you can see my indicator all the time, then make sure to contact me over on Discord. So thank you very much for watching my friends. I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, please moon up the likes, very appreciated. Also leave me any kind of comment you want. It is very welcome and appreciated. And we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.